Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Eve. This is Everyday Artist and welcome. And this is Rogue. And apparently I don't have uh, the tripod back far enough. I don't know. And if you can't tell, <laughs> um, yesterday it rained most of the day. Not rain, drizzle most of the day. And it's still cloudy and um, I don't know, must be very humid. <laughs> you can tell by how my hair is so poofy and curly. When I was younger, okay, you can't even. Um, when I was younger, I had very curly hair and it was curly all the time. I had to relax it in order to get it to do anything and so I normally don't see curls in my hair anymore so this is weird <laughs> um, and I remember when it was humid like this you know my hair was just a big poofy mess and as you get older you learn how to you know to put product in your hair and to you know do stuff um, which ones work well, which ones don't, you know, that kind of thing. And, uh, I really have enjoyed not having to worry about that. I don't like having gray hair, but that is a plus. And I was, I was coloring my hair for quite some time, um, because of the gray. I guess you want to go lie down? Yeah. You tired today? She's been tired a lot, which worries me. Anyway, um, there was something I wanted to tell. Oh, I'm filming a lot later than what I normally would because I woke up this morning with one of those headaches where you don't want any lights on and uh, I knew it was going to be like that because uh, I, um, I fell out of a van I probably told you guys this several years ago at work. And since it happened at work, I had to go to a workman's comp doctor. They did nothing. They didn't take an x-ray. They didn't take... And it wasn't just my neck, okay, that hurt. It was my neck, my left shoulder, all the way down my spine and, uh, you know, to my... Um, tailbone that hurt. I couldn't sit on a chair for very long and I uh, couldn't turn my head, you know, just all kinds of things. I couldn't reach over. Uh, no x ray, no um, MRI to see why. They just wouldn't let me go back to work and made me keep going to the doctor every other day where they would say, does it still hurt? Yes. Oh, well, here's some physical therapy. So I had to do that every other day and I had to do the doctor every other day and still nobody bothered with any kind of trying to see what was wrong. And then they sent me to a specialist who said, well, you know, you're old. So it's going to take a while to feel better. By that time, it had gotten to where I could stand to do normal everyday things. It still hurt all the time. And I had headaches all the time. Um, I have one now still, but not as bad as this morning. And it wasn't until, I want to say two years ago, I had t said to the pain management doctor, you know, I have these headaches all the time. And they sent me to physical therapy where I was getting traction and other things. But after the first traction thing, it was like a, 
I don't have a headache now. But I learned exercises to do to make what was going on, you know, better. I wish I could say that that was the first time I hurt my neck. My back still hurts most of the time and, you know, things like that, but it doesn't bother me near as much as my neck. And then I get one of the headaches from that. And it usually happens when I'm trying to sleep because I have to keep my head in a certain position. When you're awake, you know what position your neck is in. But that is not why we are here. We are here. Uh, this is my floss tube video. We are going to talk about mostly crustage. Excuse me. Um, we're going to talk about mostly crustage, um, but I have a finish, kind of. It's a mid-finish. Uh, or maybe even a finish for now. I don't know. Um, of my Itty Bitty Kitty Committee quilt. <laughs> That's the side. <laughs> Sorry. What am I doing? It's too big for me to show you. And if I had anywhere to lay it out, I would lay it out for you. And and put a picture. Well, maybe I can, but not the whole thing. Uh, <laughs> I haven't ironed it. I haven't clipped the threads. But oh, the quilt top is done. I just need to actually make a quilt out of it, right? But this is the kind of hard part. I think I may tie this one rather than do quilting on it. I have memories of my, a, a couple of quilts that my grandmother made with the ties on them, and um, oh, they, I, I was thinking of doing that. We'll see. I still have to do it. <laughs> so, anyway. Itty Bitty Kitty Committee Quilt by Missouri Star Quilt Company is the pattern. You know, I still watch their videos, but lately, I don't really care for a lot of the quilts they're making. I don't go, oh, I want to make that. But I do think about ones I've seen that they did that I'm like, you know. <laughs> um, so, um, but I'm not going to think about it because I don't want to buy more fabric until I get, well, I blew that. <laughs> Talk about that later. Uh, in no particular order, my whips for cross stitch are uh, <coughs> uh, loops and threads. This is watercolor trees. And not a lot further than I was. I have this done in here. I worked on it, but not putting stitches in. I made a working copy so that I could cross off where I was because I was like, wait a minute, what row am I on? I can't. And then of course, that thread being so light, it was just making it where I was gonna have to end up taking stuff out again. And so I made a working copy. So, uh, yeah, if you can't tell from my coughing, I was sick this week. Anyway, and then I did, this was one of my Wipgo projects for this month, Black Cat by Cross Stitching for Fun. And this is where I am. 
light wants to. I'm working on this one. So, face completely done. I'm going down toward the body. Um, now it gets where, okay, what part do I work on next? But I decided to do this one, and it goes around, all the way around to here. But there's a little tail over here, too. So, and then I'll go up and finish the rest of these. I think, maybe, probably. Let's see. Anyway, I don't know if I'm going to get this done this month. I was hoping. There's still <clears throat> a few days of the month. I haven't put as many stitches in anything as I would have um, because those days that I wasn't feeling well, it hurt to even open my eyes. So, okay. So, also, uh, what was I saying? Oh, strawberry berry, uh, hands on design. She envisions doing more of these for the berry basket. And I really like these. And this is where I am. I decided, remember, I told you that one of these was wrong. I decided just to stitch over, and if you couldn't completely not see it, too bad. I mean, it wasn't going to, I'm not taking it to the fair or anything like that, so. Um, part of what's going on is that I can't get my asthma medicine, so. Um, long story. Uh, I've. This is a little bit more, what is the word I want to use? When you look at it, the design is, is pretty simple, right? But I keep making mistakes. So when I'm putting in this dark color, my brain wants to just fill in here, but you also have to do these outside ones or it doesn't look like a berry. And <laughs> I don't know why I keep getting it wrong, but I do. I don't know. Oh, I apologize that there was music throughout my video. I did split it and I guess I just left it there instead of deleting it. I was in a hurry. Um, I had to go somewhere. Death was waiting for me. I don't know. So that's probably why I missed it. I was really zooming through and I, I said, there's something I need to do. What is it? I don't know. If my brain was working properly, I wouldn't miscount so many things. Okay. I also did some work on this other WIPGO project, Star Wars Stormtrooper. This was a kit that I bought ages ago, and I've gotten here. You can see kind of the white. The white is filled in up to here. And around over here and I did a little bit tiny bit there um, this area gets filled mostly with this color but the white does come down yeah and I tried to tell myself well oh I did do the white further down look look at that maybe I got the bottom of the white I don't know um, I, I told myself, you know, fill in the white later, you know, so the other colors are around it, but then I have to count a lot. And 
that's not going to work because there's white around everything and then it's back stitched over. I did some of that over here and I was like, that's no fun. But any stitches that I put in white or otherwise are are good because I need to just keep plugging away. And yes, this top one is just halfway <laughs> because I wanted to put in this little thing and I had the whole thread cut off and the next place I needed to put it. Yes, this one down here isn't done. I, oh, I didn't think of that one. But I just finished it up here. And, uh, I am um, just going to keep plugging away at it. I know it won't be done this month, but, you know, I'll get more work done on it. I'm not working on one of these every day, so I won't know that my goals are done. But, <clears throat> and I put 10 days on these, but I really just put them in whip go so that I would get them out and work on them. Uh, how much I work on them doesn't really matter to me as long as I have a consistent taking out of it and working on it this month. So I haven't been tracking how many days because I don't care. Um, I almost didn't do whip go. I almost said I'm just going to pick some and um, have that be my focus piece for you know, for the month or for part of the month or what have you. And I said, yeah, but I need to, A, pick which projects I'm going to work on. And and then when and, and how I'm going to work on them, you know. And I just said, you know, it's easier to just do whip go. And like I said... I put a goal of 10 days and I will count those goals done because I've been working on them. Stop. Because I've been working on them, but um, I'm not uh, really concerned with whether or not it was 10 days. It's more than one day and, you know, it's less than all month. So, uh, in our yard, often, and across the street, and in the neighbor's yards, and pretty much everywhere down our street, are quite a few quail. Um, some of them are nice and big and fat, and they look wonderful. And, you know, some are really tall. <laughs> um, there's a lot of them. Every year we see, you know, a whole bunch of babies. And there are tons of these quail. And, and that's good because they're, you know, eating stuff that we probably don't want in the yard. I don't mind them being there and they're very cute and I like looking at them. Although, I cannot get a picture of them. Because I would have to sit still, like in my car, for a really long time. Because they even run away if I lower the window. Um, I think some live in the bush in my neighbor's heart, yard. I'm not sure. So they're everywhere. And, uh, you know, right around my house. And I love seeing them and looking at them. However, little Missy here hates birds. So when she sees them, she tries to bark at them to get them to leave. <laughs> Well, we're outside in the backyard. She'll see a bird and go running across the yard barking at it to tell it to get out of her yard. So that's what she was barking at. Yeah. Uh, the last one I have for you. My videos are never very long, are they? And I, I don't stay on task. I'm telling you about Temperature Totals by Stitchin' Mommy. 
and again I don't have the whole week put in for last week okay I don't have it I have one day of last week put in I think I don't know because again I have the thread I know I have it you know how come I know I have it I have a partially done project that used that thread It's not in that project bag. It's not where I put threads that I'm done with. I obviously took it out of there to use it on something else, but I went back through my um, thread stitch projects and looked in each one for that thread other than you know the one that I was using it on before and could not find any um, anything that used it and I'm afraid now because I'm going to go buy it probably today because I'm, I've looked at it for, for it for hours <laughs> and um, I I'm like did I substitute that thread I don't think I did because my thread stash says I have that thread I don't know where it is. So I'm not going to look for it anymore. It's too exhausting. However, this is where I am. That's the th thread you th see is the green thread, which I need to use to make the last leg. But I wanted to put those stitches in. So it's going to come this way and start going up around this way. And <clears throat> I think that thread that I can't find is the same thread I need for every single day but one of of last uh, last week. It's pretty warm, not hot, not cold, and and it was. Um, You know, it was one of those things where, yeah, it's a little chilly if you're outside for any length of time, but not cold. When I was in high school, I took a plastics class. Probably told you this before. And the room had to be maintained at 70 degrees because of the plastics in order for, I don't know why. But it had to be maintained at that temperature. And no matter what time of year, <clears throat> you need to wear a coat in there. Because 70 degrees is pleasant if you're outside taking a walk. But if you're sitting still and not moving, it's cold. <laughs> uh, so I was always cold in there. I kept a sweater in my locker so I could go, so I could use it in there. Although I couldn't take it into the fiberglass room. I didn't want any fiberglass in my sweater. And they did other things in the fiberglass room besides fiberglass. Oh, I was the only girl in that class. And all these guys, all they wanted to do was make fiberglass for their cars. Fiberglass. What are those little... They were really popular when I was going to school. Um... That's all they were interested in, stuff for their cars. And I used resin to make things. I, I did, um, you know, rubber, not rubber, but you know how tools have that, that grip stuff on them? It's not just metal. You know, I dipped all my dad's tools and put that stuff on them. So anyway, that's the last project. But remember, last week, I had to go buy that other thread. And I, in order to get to the threads, I had to walk by the fabric. And 
this is what I saw first. And I picked this to go with that. There's a lot of it here. Uh, because I also found this. And I tried to find a different accent fabric, but none of them, I, th I thought the others were just not, didn't fit well. So I just used, I'm using the same one. And I think I bought those on, when did I buy them? I don't know. But I was going to make project bags and I decided, you know what, I want to finish that quilt. So that's what I did instead. Because I, I was afraid if I, if I put it down away, tucked it away and started working on something else, I wouldn't pick it up again. I mean, that's what happened last time. So I'll start working on it now. Oh, maybe today. I don't know. I still have a headache, so <laughs> maybe not today. <clears throat> so that is all. And uh, it is almost the end of January. Anyway, so there'll only be one more visit with me uh, this month. And then we go into February. Yeah. So thank you all for coming. Thank you all. I'll see you next week.